Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this video series, Firearm Familiarization, where I'm gonna show you the basics of how to handle a firearm, how to shoot. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to hit your target. I'm Delta Nine and this is Johnny Tactical. All right, guys, thanks for coming back here. We, on uh, the last video, we covered stance, grip, and presenting your firearm, um, getting on target. So now we're gonna talk about how to actually hit your target. Obviously, little things you can do to help uh, improve your accuracy. And first thing you gotta understand is sight picture and sight alignment, okay? Sight picture is the relationship of your sights on your target. So if you were, don't aim at me, but if you were aiming at me, you know, you, are you aiming here, are you aiming here, are you aiming here, where are you aiming? So that's where you're gonna place your sights over the target. Your sight alignment is how your front and rear sights are in relation to one another. If our rear sights and our front sights aren't in alignment, we're not gonna hit our target. And it doesn't matter what your sight picture is because they're just, your bolt's gonna go wherever. So the first thing you wanna understand is sight alignment. You've gotta line your sights up first. As you can see the graphic on the screen there, and then your sight picture is the, taking those aligned sights and then placing them over your target. That is your sight alignment. One other thing about your sight picture. So once your sights are lined up and then you place those sights over your target, what you need to do is actually cover your target or the part of your target you want to shoot with your front sight. So you're going to focus on that front sight. They're going to be aligned with the rear, but your attention is going to be on the front sight because what happens is like if I uh, sit my target on top of my front sight, that's something they call lollipopping because like your front sight post is a rectangle and then like the bullseye is a circle. And if I put a circle on top of a rectangle, that looks like a lollipop, so they call it lollipopping. And that means your rounds are going low. Your rounds are gonna go where your front sight is. Once you have that figured out, again, it takes a lot of practice because it's, you know, these are very, very, very small movements that are happening while you're, you're trying to shoot. The second thing you've got to worry about is your trigger press. So trigger press is simply moving your trigger uh, to the rear without disturbing your sights, okay? So uh, I'm gonna make sure this gun is safe before we get started here. So I'm gonna check my pistol and make sure there's no ammunition in it. So I look magazine well, breech face, breech. I look away, magazine well, breech face, breech. And I make sure this gun is empty because we don't want any live ammo while we're training. Moving the trigger to the rear without moving the sights. Uh, here's my, my trigger here. And this is a double action, single action, so you're gonna see the hammer move as I press it, uh, press on the trigger. Um, you may have a different pistol that doesn't do that, that's okay. Might be like a striker fire, like a Glock or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. What I wanna do is I need to move my trigger to the rear without disturbing my sight. So that generally means it's gonna be a smooth, even, steady pressure backwards. So what I don't want is like, gah, like slamming the trigger. That's not good, and I also don't want to be coming off the trigger every time I press. No, that's not gonna help you at all. That's gonna cause your gun to be jumping around, which in turn is gonna cause your sights to jump around. So once my gun is on target, and my sights are aligned, and my sights are aligned with what I wanna hit, then I have to just give it slow steady pressure directly to the rear. We don't want any side to side pressure and we certainly don't want any slapping happening. So we want to stay in constant contact with that trigger. And then once it goes, bang, I'm going to keep it pressed to the rear until I start to release it. I'm going to maintain contact with the trigger until it resets. Listen, if you hear that click, that's where the trigger resets and that's where I can press again. So at first it's gonna be real slow, right? It's gonna be real deliberate, real slow, and you're gonna be standing here going, click, 
I'm gonna do it with one hand just so you can see my finger. And that's how you're gonna practice, okay? If I just hop on the range and I start smashing this trigger and slapping it, my, my sights are gonna go with it. They're gonna go everywhere. So once my sights are aligned, they're on my target, my job then is to control my trigger so that it does not disturb my sights. Now if you can do that, you can hit what you're aiming at every time. So you're saying, okay, yeah, sure, Delta 9, yeah, uh, that makes total sense, but what about when the gun goes bang? What happens then? What's that called? Recoil, right? So we talked about it earlier um, in the last episode about grip and having a nice solid grip on the gun to control that recoil, but recoil is going to happen. One thing to just, I don't know, the easiest way to say it is let recoil happen. So if I have my sights on my target and they're aligned and I press the trigger to the rear, if I'm fighting recoil, I'm gonna cause generally my rounds to go low. So I have to let the gun go bang and I have to let recoil happen. And then we talked about resetting my trigger. As I'm resetting my trigger, I'm gonna find my sights again. They're gonna happen simultaneously. Uh, so what you wanna do is find your sights, place your sights on your target, press the trigger to the rear, the gun's gonna go bang. As my gun is recovering from recoil, I'm going to just let the trigger come out. So you can see here, until it goes click, and then repeat. Where are my bullets going? Did I, did I hit what I'm aim, aiming at? And I get all worried about that. I'm gonna be peeking. So I call it peeking. So what's gonna happen is this. I, I shoot and I go, what happened? I shoot and, and I'm looking. So I am subconsciously dipping my gun every single time because I'm trying to see where my rounds went. So when recoil happens, let it happen. And again, you're gonna take care of most of it with a good grip and a good stance. Let recoil happen. As it does, you're going to let that trigger slide back out um, until it resets and then I can press again. And I'm just reacquiring my sight picture every time I shoot. So you should have a good sight picture before you shoot, you press the trigger as you shoot, and then as you come back, you want a third sight picture. That's follow through. When you start, it'll take longer, but as you get uh, progress and get more used to it, you're gonna start to re reacquire the sight picture. It'll be faster each time. Um, and, and it will increase your accuracy, especially with follow-up shots, okay? All right, everyone, thanks for watching. That video covers the basics of how to hit your target. We talked about trigger control, pressing it smoothly to the rear, managing recoil with a good grip, and then letting recoil happen, and follow through. If you keep your sights aligned on your target, you press that trigger to the rear without disturbing your sights, and you follow through, you are gonna hit what you're aiming at every time. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Please share it, and uh, head over to my website, johnnytactical.org, where you can pick up some Johnny Tactical swag. We have a bunch of resources there. Some are free that um, are there for you to help you with shooting, help you with personal growth, those kinds of things. So please go check that out and come back for the next episode. I'm Delta 9 and this is Johnny Tactical.